for live. If you're hopping say on, hello. <laughs> say hello. Tell us where you're watching from. Let us know that you can see us and hear, and us. hear us. That was a short countdown. <laughs> it was like two one <laughs> are you ready or not <laughs> i'm not still sure that it's working oh there's a few viewers oh, viewers there's there's julie, julie. tiffany yep. and leslie are here with us we are working all right. We were getting worried there. We were, <laughs> we were trying, Julie. <laughs> yeah. It's working. Oh, yes, good. Casey. We finally got it to work. All right. Better late than never. Yes, we are here. Happy Thursday. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. We have a very special guest with us today. Alyssa is with us um, from MVP, and she's going to talk about the different paces that are available there and um, how to keep your horse ahead of the game. And make sure you put any questions that you might have for Alyssa in the comments there, or just say hello and let us know you're watching with us today. Um, we have a few prizes to give away to a couple of lucky winners. We're going to have four winners today. Um, we have one winner is going to receive three tubes of Electrocell. One winner is going to receive three tubes of Gastroplex. See if I can go the right way here to show you. Uh, <laughs> one winner is going to receive um, four tubes of the Comex V. And then one winner is going to receive two tubes of the Breathe O2 paste. So with that, Alyssa, we're going to turn it over to you and you have the floor. Okay. I am going to introduce you to the most commonly used paste for most people that have used a paste before. And that is our electrocell. Our electrocell is a electrolyte paste that is going to help your horse recover um, or, you know, stay hydrated before you go somewhere or after you go somewhere, or if simply you've seen a decrease in water. The neat thing about the electrocell paste is the fact that it has some amino acids in it to help the body um, get the minerals and whatnot that it needs the other ingredients to absorb it faster. And they are chelated, so you're going to get quick Absorption. And one of the most important things that I tell people when they use the electrocell is make sure that your horse has access to plenty of fresh water. Don't give it to them and then offer them water wait later because if they're tied to the trailer or whatnot, they're, they get thirsty almost immediately after administering the electrocell paste. And our tubes that they showed you that they're going to be giving away, the electrocell paste has two doses in it. So that is usually the most common paste that I see horse owners using. It's not just a performance electrolyte. It's great for any time that you see a horse um, not consuming the amount of water they need. Or if you have a big weather change coming up, whether it's going hot to cold or cold to hot, it's a great time to be proactive and get make sure that your horse is hydrated before you need you are not hydrated or dehydrated. So just trying to stay proactive and think ahead is a great way to use the electrocell paste. And, you know, the electrocell paste can be used the night before performance or after performance. Um, anytime that you know that your horse is going to be put through some type of change, whether it's hauling or weather or, um, you know, changing their food or changing their waters uh, if you're traveling somewhere. So the electrocell can come in handy for any horse owner. And then we'll roll into the gastroplex paste. And to me, that's you know the next most common paste that horse owners should have on hand. The gastroplex paste is great for horses when they have a little stomach upset. So the way a horse's stomach is designed is um, you're supposed to have kind of food in that stomach at all times where it acts as a buffer to the stomach acid because the horse's stomach is actually the lining is thicker on the bottom than it is on the top. And so whenever the stomachs are empty 
or we're riding these horses or traveling, you get this motion in the stomach and that stomach acid splashes around and can kind of maybe basically give that horse a little heartburn, not full blown or ulcers or anything like that. But that's what stomach upset is, is when that acid in the stomach irritates, you know, that top lining or, you know, their pH balance is a little off and, you know, their stomach is just kind of acidic that day. The gastroplex goes in there and it works as a coat. It has, um, a little bit of the gelatin and the glycerin and probiotics and prebiotics. So that whole dose is a 40 cc do dose, which is half the tube of the gastroplex. And it goes in there and it goes down the um, esophagus and into the stomach and it helps coat everything. So that large dose is really what helps the gastroplex to work. It's not just a little teeny tiny small dose, because if you think about how long that track is from the horse's mouth, to the stomach, you need quite a bit if we're coating to soothe the area. And so the gastroplex can be used when you feel like you are having some stomach upset or you can give it to them before you put them on the trailer to help prevent any of the abrasiveness of stomach um, juices that might be occurring. Um, and really gastroplex can be something that is very important to have on hand at all times. Then we'll roll into the breathe though too. I feel like the breathe is a little more specific. It says what it helps with what the name says, but it also has muscle recovery. So the breathe O2 offers two way support. It helps to soothe um, the airways as well as aid in muscle recovery. So if you have a horse um, that's getting a little breathless or a horse that's performing and needs um, to breathe better, the soothing properties of the oral paste kind of work as a natural cough syrup um, and a natural vasodilator, so it won't test. So if you're worried about um, performing in any type, it's not a drug, it's just very natural and very soothing. And then the B vitamins and some other ingredients as well as amino acids work together to help utilize oxygen and also aid the muscles in recovery and give the horse that the energy that they need to perform. But it's not just a performance pace. It works great um, if your horse seems to just kind of have a little bit of a cough um, before or during or after exercise. Um, and to wrap things up of the pace line, the Calmex V paste is um, a natural calming paste. So the Calmex V is gonna give your horse um, some relaxing properties without drugs. It's kind of the go-to that you'll use before um, you look into medications. Um, it has valerian root, which is found in human volume, and then it has tryptophan and um, B, vitamin B1. And these work together to really um, give a calming effect to the horse. Every horse is different, but the Calmex V really seems to kind of help take the nervousness, quiet them down. This is great um, if you're, you know, they're pacing in their stall when you get to an event or if you're going on a trail ride and they seem to be really hyperactive or sensitive to their surroundings and you want a couple hours of them just, you know, really being a little mellow, uh, the Calmex V pace can really come in handy. I also have people that give their horses the Calmex V pace before they shoe them. Um, for so that they're a little more relaxed for the barrier. So anytime that they're put in a stressful situation or a type of situation that you want them to be a little more relaxed than they have been, the Calmex B paste really comes in handy. So once again, that's another good one to keep on hand all times. Okay. We have a lot of questions that are rolling in here. Okay. We're going to go back to the beginning. Find the first one. Tiffany was the first one, I think, right there. Okay. Tiffany said, what paste would you suggest for a horse with allergies? So the allergies is going to be your Breathe O2 paste. So the Breathe paste is going to help soothe um, the airway. So I'm guessing that this horse maybe has a little bit of a cough or kind of is wheezy. And the Breathe O2, when you're going to use that. so. It's going to be before your ride, whether it's a performance horse or even a trail horse or just, you know, a ride around and relax horse. You're going to give it about when you saddle. So it doesn't even have to be um, two hours. It can be an hour to 30 minutes. And it's just like a kind of a cough syrup. So it's going to go to work immediately. 
and really kind of soothe that and open up um, everything to help them breathe better and not feel so irritated or scratchy. But if the allergies are, you know, chronic, that's when you start to look at maybe going into um, a pellet that helps on a daily basis. I mainly use the Breathe O2 pace when I'm riding the horse. So I don't want to go in there every day and use the Breathe O2 as a daily supplement. The Breathe O2 is more so to ease that um, those allergen, allergy symptoms that might be occurring before a ride to make my horse more comfortable or in an, you know, in a pinch where they're having maybe a cough attack or, you know, in places where I have horses that there's a lot of smoke going on right now um, from fires, the Breathe O2 can really help settle things down for that simple time being. Um, it's more of a short term term use or, you know, to alleviate the symptoms that are happening before you and after you ride. Okay, and that kind of ties into our next question. Hannah had asked how often you can give the pastes. Yeah, so um, these pastes are safe. Um, I have some people that give like the breathe multiple event people. So they have a horse that they run in barrels and then they run later in poles. And so they can give a dose of the breathe before um, the barrels and then they can give a dose of the breathe later that day. Um, but to me, if you're, you know, if you have a horse that's coughing every day, maybe you're not performing on it, then that's when you look at the pellets because that's going to be more cost efficient to put a lower, um, you know, to be more easy on your wallet and help them on a daily basis where you're not having to paste them. But you could use the paste every day if you needed to, or, you know, if you have um, some symptoms for a week and you want to go ahead and paste them for that week until they get over the coughing then it's safe to use that and you can use more than one dose in a day. Um, Hannah asked, can the gastroplex paste be an ulcer preventative? So um, it can help keep the stomach happy. And um, with the probiotics, if you don't have ulcers yet, when you're in that, um, moment where your horse might not have as much food in their stomach as they should you know it acts as a temporary buffer to that acid but um, more so our daily pellets are going to be what's going to be a good preventative whereas the paste is to try to offset the stomach upset that occurs in environmental or performance um, changes so the pellets are more of a daily preventative and the paste is um, going to give you that quick acting alleviation or preventative up, gut upset, not necessarily ulcer, because you're not going to use the paste every day. So when you're thinking about a preventative for ulcers, you're thinking about something that's going to go in every day and help with your gut health, like prebiotics, probiotics, and the levy cell yeast that are in our pellets. So if you're looking for a preventative, a daily preventative, then that's when you go to the paste or the pellets. But if you're looking for something to help keep your horse's stomach happy, like horses at haul, like you put them on the trailer and some of these horses will step off the trailer with a little bit of loose stool. That's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent um, them getting to the point where their stomach starts getting upset, which then, you know, that can lead to ulcers down the road. But a preventative is something that you do daily. Whereas you're not going to use a gastroplex every day. Um, Donna had asked if the gastroplex gastro would be good for a gassy horse. A gassy horse? That's what she said. That's yeah. what she said. Yeah. Okay. There's an, an echo. An echo. <laughs> so um, for horses that are gassy, what is going on is sometimes just like humans, their uh, digestive system is like work, kind of working fast or something is going in there that they're not agreeing with. So I always recommend that you speak with a vet whenever you have an overly course, just to make sure that there's not something that is in their diet, just like us people that is causing them to get that excess gas. But if they're uncomfortable um, and, you know, possibly they have a pH balance or, you know, some issues going on in the stomach from um, traveling. It just to kind of depends on when they're getting gassy. If they're gassy all the time, to me, that's something that's in their diet. 
or if they just get gassy when they stress, then I can only try um, the paste. It's cheap enough that you can try it and see if it works to see if that symptom that is occurring, it's when they get stressed, then absolutely the paste can help. But if it's something that's in their daily diet that is causing them to have gas, then that's when you start having to work with your vet to rule things out and make sure that you have um, something that they're allergic to. All right, Hannah. All asked, right, Hannah asked. We're going to hear everything. Can breathe into horses that have respiratory irritation? Absolutely, it's, it's working as basically a natural uh, cough syrup. So just like whenever we are having a scratch or we. Um, have a sore throat or we have a little bit of a cough, when we take the um, natural cough syrups, we're getting um, some soothing um, properties in there. So, you know, whenever something hurts, you want to coat it just like the gastroplex coats the stomach. This is going to coat the throat and everything that is experiencing that um, issue from the allergens or whatnot. So it's absolutely going to look worse. That's uncomfortable in their airways and their throats. I had something pop up, am I still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ask me, ask me. Which one, this one, which one, this one here? I just did, I just did. Yeah, from Amy. Um, is that you didn't ask that one, did you? I didn't ask that one. Okay. Uh, is the gastroplex safe to give to a metabolic horse? Yes, um, it is. It doesn't have any starches or sugars that are going to cause an issue. Um, I would just give, you know, the first time you're going to give it, if, especially to see how sensitive it hangs, you can give a fourth of a tube. All right, um, Brooke asks, is Breathe O2 good for a horse that needs to run on Lasix? Yes, so Breathe O2 is not going to replace Lasix, but it's going to help complement your Lasix. It's great to use with Lasix, especially when you get that, um, the B vitamins with the energy and the muscle recovery. Lasix is hard on one, um, but the two things that I'm going to recommend when you're running on a horse on Lasix is the electrocell the night before an electrocell post race um, because the Lasix, what the Lasix pulls out of them, you need to replace. So the night before you need to give them the electrocell to help make sure that they're hydrated. And then after them, you need to give them the electrocell again, and then you can give the Breathe O2 before you run to help soothe the airways. Because if you remember the reasons why we use Lasix is because horses are bleeding. And whenever you have bleeders, there could be multiple reasons why horses bleed. So it could be from, you know, allergies, weak um, tissues in the lungs or not being in shape enough. And so if it's also could be blood pressure. And so the Breathe O2 kind of helps if the horse has a little bit of allergies, it also helps to regulate blood pressure. And so it, it works as a great complement to Lasix and um, but remember, the other paste you need is the electrocell when you're using um, Lasix. Um, Ashley had asked, which one would be the best to use uh, during weather change? That's going to be, you know, it's going to be a toss up of the electrocell and the gastroplex. And the reason why I say that is if the, some horses, drink good year round. And so you don't have to really worry about that horse drinking or not. Um, if it's a horse that does not drink well, I'm going to go to the electrocell. But if they're a great drinker, no matter what happens, then I'll go with the gastroplex. But if them hydrated um, is always in concern in the back of my mind, I'm going to go with the electrocell every time. But if, you know, I have some horses that are going to drink no matter what, then I go with the gastroplex. 
Um, Casey had asked if the pastes can be combined or should you just stick with one? Absolutely, they can be combined. Um, I have a lot of people that use the breathe and the gastro. So you're gonna give gastro flex two hours out from the time that you feel like you need it to start working. I'll give it to my horses before I put them on the trailer, especially if I have a trip longer, you know, two hours. And so, cause I about, you know, usually they should have some food in their stomach. I keep food in front of them on the trailer too. But in that two hour window, that's when they're the most sure trailer rides are hard on them. So they get the gastroplex and then you can get to the barrel race and, or wherever you're going. And if they need the breathe though, you can give them the breathe though. Um, like for the Lasix question, Brito and Electrocell complement each other, and Electrocell and Gastroflex complement each other on your finicky eaters and drinkers. And then um, some people might have some issues with stomach, as well as have issues with needing the horse to be pumped. And the, you know, anxiety and stomach issues, they kind of go hand in hand. So before I go to the calming paste, I always sure. make sure that I am not getting any relief from anxiety from the stomach paste. And so when people come to me and they say, hey, I need a calming paste, the yeah. first time they try something, I really want them to try the gastroflex paste because I, it helps me kind of rule out if they have some gastro issues going on. Because if the gastroflex is given to that horse and they see um, – that the symptoms of the anxiety is reduced, that lets me know that they actually have some stomach just going on and that uh, they either need to be referred to their vet to be looked towards, you know, something for treating them for ulcers, or if it's simple upset, put them on the gastroplex pellets daily to try to help get them lined back out and maybe take care of the anxiety there. But if the gastroplex paste maybe helps a little, but I still have anxiety and they've treated for ulcers and they know that they don't have ulcers, then you can get the gastroplex as well as the comics B. So all of the pastes can be used in conjunction together. I maybe don't use the Breatho and the calming paste just because the Breatho kind of gives a little in energy. Um, and then, you know, then you're also calming. I mean, if you had to, if you had a horse that has breathing issues and also their heart rate gets out of control and they get overly anxious, you can definitely use together, but those are the least common two that I have used together. Okay. We had a, um, a few questions about how long it takes for the Calmex to start working. I've seen, and it depends on the horse, every horse is different, but I've seen it kind of kick in about an hour and I feel like you have the most benefits about that two hour window. Um, and then, you know, from two hours to the six hours, you know, that two, four, six hour window, it's still working. So you should get at least four hours of um, calm from it. But just to remember when you're using a calm, calming paste, just like if you're giving the calming medicine, you want to try to give the calming paste before the heart horse rate gets up too much. So, you know, if they get nervous, the moment you pull up to the barrel race, you might give it to them before you go to the barrel race. Or if they get nervous on the trail ride before you saddle, try to give it ahead of time. You want to beat that heart rate in a sense. You want to make sure that you give that medicine, if you can, um, before the heart rate gets out of control. Because when the heart rate starts working, um, the pace will go through their system a little bit faster. So you might not get a, as long as effect if they're already anxious when you give them the paste. But... Um, Um, Donna, oh, whoops. Okay. Donna had asked um, if the Comex could be used on a donkey. Her donkey has to be sedated um, to have his hooves trimmed. Um, and then how long would it calm him for? Okay. So I'm going to be very honest. I don't deal with a lot of donkeys. Um, but I would, number one, talk to my vet and go over the ingredients. Um, the cool thing about MVP products and paste is everything that is in our products is on the ingredient label. So there's nothing in there. There's not an herb or an ingredient that we're not going to list. Some, um, some 
labels don't have everything that is in the product and then you can run risk of, you know, administrating something to your horse or other livestock that they could be allergic to. So you could take the label and you can get it from our website and you can go to your vet and you can ask him, hey, is this safe for my donkey? Here's the ingredient, everything that's in it. This is the amounts that are in it. And if your vet gives you the okay to try that on your donkey, then, you know, definitely try it. I don't know how it is. Um, I have some horses that get anxiety when the barrier comes and they, you give them, you know, some calming paste and they're great. And then I have some that have such a bad habit and they do need to continue to be sedated. So, you know, it's something that you also have to communicate with your barrier. Hey, would you be with me trying to give this paste to the donkey today? You know, my vet said it was okay. I would give it, you know, if he gets anxious the moment he sees the farrier pull it in, I would try to time it where he thinks before the farrier gets there, maybe do another horse and or donkey and then do your donkey and see if um, that will help him. But some things that you have to play with because every horse's system can respond to different or donkey system can respond to different products or ingredients. Um, Nicole had asked if MVP has any products that could help with irritable bowel disease. Okay. Um, you know, that's basically like a chronic inflammation. So this, I'm guessing this horse diarrhea all the time. Um, in that sense, probiotics and prebiotics and yeast are going to be your best friend. Um, so I'm curious if this horse's symptoms get worse when she's, this horse is hauled or used. If so, if your symptoms do get worse in stressful times, the pace would be great to add to this horse's, um, you know, travel program. I think it definitely could help by using the soothing properties that the pace has in it. Um, but what is going to probably be the best is the gastroplex daily pellets. Um, it just kind of depends on if it's all the time, then you probably gonna need the pellets. If it just is some run bouts of it, because just like in people, when people have it, they don't always have like it, have the bouts, but whenever they have the onset of symptoms, they need quick relief, it, relief then that's when the pace is gonna come into hand. Okay. Um, Rachel had asked, I'll get back to that one. Rachel had asked um, about the gastro pellets and how long those take um, to start working and how long the pellets would work for that day. So the pellets have enough for daily support. So the pellets you're going to give one time and you're going to get enough support um, for that day. Okay. But the, you know, I at least recommend 60 days to give a pellet the chance to work. We have a 60 day money back guarantee on all of it. So you have 60 days to see if that product's going to work. And, you know, I hate to say this over and over again, but every horse is different. And so it could be a mix where as your horse is just having a little bit of a ba pH balance issue, you hit them with the gastroplex, it has the probiotics the love you sell yeast, some natural herbs in it that really soothe everything. And man, in three days, your horse is feeling better. Or if they have a little bit more of a long-term chronic issue going, then it's going to take a little bit longer to get that pH reset in that horse's body. And so it can just differ. But the cool thing about the love you sell yeast is it's clinically proven to get all the way to the hind gut. So you not only, you know, you get two-way support. The pellets help with you know, your colic prevention, as well as um, the hind gut and then the foregut, gut health. Virginia was curious if um, you, it was safe to give this on race day and still pass um, any test. Um, which product is she talking about? Talking about the gut, about the gut. Yeah. Yeah. based. Yeah. Is safe. Use on race day and will not test and if you um you know the calming product you're going to maybe be a little more leery of depending on what association you're racing with if you're talking about thoroughbred or quarter horse on the racetrack um i would steer clear the 
call me the call mix um unless you know for a fact that the ingredients are okay in it but the gastroplex is safe and i believe everything the breathe though too is also safe for just for reference but once again if you have any questions all of our ingredients are on the label and so there will be no surprise about anything in the products is it this one here? Yeah. Um, is it good to use the gastro paste after deworming? That's a good question. So, anytime you give an antibiotic or something that disrupts the flora of the horse's stomach, or, um, you know, changes anything in there. Um, pro filing up with probiotics is always great. Um, if you have a horse that has, has maybe bot flies, bot flies can actually cause, you know, some ulcers. So it's always good, you know, to make sure that you talk to the vet, see if they think that horse needs surgery, depending on how severe this horse might have worms. Or if you're a really proactive owner and you worm on a regular basis and you just want to kind of soothe the stomach, you could worm that day and then maybe the gastroplex that night or the next day. Um, but usually I just try to watch them. And if you have a horse that, you know, really doesn't feel well after you worm them for reason, then you could follow up with some gastroflex paste. But if they don't, if their temperament doesn't change and they're not sensitive, um, might not be needed to give it. But if you know that yours is one of those horses, which I own plenty, that is very dramatic and has random things happen to it, then you might want to follow up with some gastroflex paste. Um, we'd had a few questions about the pellets, um, breathe, the breathe two paste. They wanted to know what the pellets were called on that. They were unable to find those. They're actually called airway EQ. And the airway EQ pellets help with seasonal, seasonal allergies. They also help to strengthen the tissue and regulate blood pressure and um, everyday symptoms. Um, that come from having allergies. Airway EQ. How many doses does a tube have? So, Breedo, Electrocell, and Gastroplex all have two doses. Comex V is one dose. They also, to make it more cost efficient, the Gastroplex is always buy four, get one. Breedo two is buy three, get one free. Electrocell is buy four, get one free. And so is Comex, buy four, get one free. So we try to throw in a free beetle. Um, Caitlin had asked if the gastric paste would be good for hauling colts. Can you give this to colts or should you avoid that? Avoid that? Oh, absolutely. If you're hauling them frequently or for their first time, if the colt's gentle enough for you to administer the paste, um, feel free to give it to them. If it's a smaller horse, about half or a smaller colt, about half the size of a horse, you could always one give a fourth of the tube. But it won't hurt if you give them a little more. No, um, Hannah had asked, how do you get picky eaters to eat the pellets? Pellets. So, um, depending on what pellet you're talking about, gastroflex pellets are most um, picky eater pellets. The cool thing about our products is we do always offer that 60 day money back guarantee. So if you're looking for something and you have a picky eater, um, and worry about losing money, have no fear. If your horse won't eat it, we're going to refund you your money. But, you know, I think sometimes as horse owners, we get a little old with adding things to our horse's feed. But whenever you are switching grains, 
you know, everybody knows that you're supposed to give a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, and slowly work your way to the new grain. So sometimes when people get supplements, they just go straight to like, I bought new horse, four new supplements for my horse. And they add it to the thing. And so next thing you know, they have about this much of new supplements added to their grain. And the horse is like, oh, what is that? That smells different. That tastes different. So what you want to do is you have a picky eater. You want to get your their palate comfortable with the pellets. So instead of just going straight like, here you go, um, midnight sparkle, like mm-hmm. here's your pellets. What you need to do is you need to add just a little bit, like a fourth of a scoop, which our scoops are included in the bag. So you'll add a fourth. So what they do is when they eat, they might get like one little pellet and they're like, huh, that might have tasted dis- different, but then they continue to eat and they didn't get any more pellets. So then what allows is the next time when they get a couple pellets, their palate starts to get used to this flavor, this new taste. So, you know, if I have had people come to me and they're like, my horse won't eat any type of pellet or, you know, my horse won't eat, won't take paste. I can usually get horses, like I have plenty of videos of horses sucking that paste out of tubes. And it's also helped me get horses that were terrible to paste, comfortable with pacing. They come to, they come to the fence. If you give them gastroplexic color enough, they're pretty happy to get the paste because the flavor of the paste is pretty amazing on the gastroplex. But Back to the pellets. Any time that you're giving your horse any type of that you buy from anybody, if you know that you have a horse that is a picky eater, slowly introduce the pellet. Don't just go straight to pouring five scoops. Okay. Well, that looks like that's all the questions um, for today. Alyssa, we want to thank you so much for joining us today. We've had tons of questions and uh, a lot of comments on here too. It looks like MVP has a lot of fans already. Um, so we, we just really want to thank you for joining us today and answering all of these questions for us. Thank you for hearing our pace line. We're so happy to have companies like Valley Vet that work with us. And the pace that we offer are just something that can be handy for any horse owner. All of those pace lifts lift we listed. You know, any horse can have a cough. Any horse can get a little stomach upset. Any horse can become dehydrated or there's any time to calm one down. That Having one of each pace on hand is amazing. And they have a shelf life of two years. So you can stick them in your vet kit and forget about them and eat them if you're not a diehard that goes every weekend. Or, you know, if you're just, you know, someone that has horses for the fun of it at home, stick them in your barn. And, you know, you might have to order $30 more of new paste to have on hand, but they're super cost efficient and just really handy to have. All right. And with that, we're going to draw a few winners here. Um, so the first winner is going to win three tubes of the Electrocell. And that winner is going to be Kenny Rowling. Oh, wait, I didn't have my confetti ready. Congratulations. Okay, winner number two is going to get three tubes of the Gastroplex. And the winner of that is Amanda Martin. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, Uh, winner number three is going to receive four tubes of the Comex V. And the winner of that is Sherry Shibley. Hopefully I pronounced that right. (laughs) (laughs) And then last but not least, uh, our fourth winner is going to receive two tubes of the Breathe O2 paste. And the winner of that is Sharon Van Wert. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, We want to thank you all for watching today. And we thank Alyssa for joining us. And we have a couple of announcements before we hop off here. Um, go I'm ahead. To go ahead. Yep. Don't forget that we have our fabulous fall giveaway going on now. It ends October 1, so get entered now. And join us live next Tuesday because we're going to be back and we're going to go over those packages so you can see what is possible to win because we kind of forgot on Tuesday to do that. <laughs> All right. And then uh, next Thursday, we will be live with Federson Mobility. So be sure to join us then too.
guys have any questions that maybe didn't get asked or if you weren't able to watch the live, feel free to drop the questions in the comments and we'll come back. We will either myself or MVP's Facebook, we will respond to you. So don't feel left out if you missed us. Um, we'll come back and pick you up. And there's also a lot of creation on our website, medvetfarm.com, where you can read about all of the pace. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks again. Thank you guys. We'll see everybody later. Bye. Bye.